Larry is the meanest prison warden around and he just threw me in jail. He told me I will never escape and I will have to serve a 1,000 year sentence. I was so sad and I had no idea what I was supposed to do. Everything in my cell was disgusting. There was a sink with the dirtiest looking water. I don't even think I would be able to drink it. Even the toilet had bugs crawling around in it. I wasn't alone, but the two bacon hair strangers that were with me wouldn't even talk to me. I knew I needed to find a way out of here and fast. There is no way I was gonna spend a thousand years in here. I went to the bed and I noticed that there was a pair of golden handcuffs. I'm not sure why, but something was telling me that I needed to collect 10 of these. When I looked at the window, I could not believe my eyes. Someone had removed one of the bars on the window. I was immediately greeted by a sign warning me that the waters surrounding the prison are infested with police sharks. Thankfully, I saw a path that looked a little promising. The only problem was it was covered in landmines. Ow. I hopped over the landmines and noticed something oddly familiar about the creature in the cell next to mine. Oh my gosh, it's Mr. Wiggles. How did he get locked up in prison? I climbed up the ladder and went into a hallway and there was acid spilled all over the floor. I didn't know why, but something was telling me I should probably look out the window here to see if I could find any more golden handcuffs and I was right. I hopped out the window to collect them, but I had no idea how I was gonna get back up. Thankfully, once I was down there, I could tell that it wrapped back around to where I was and I could use the same ladder to get back to where I was. As I continued further into the hallway, I noticed that the way to the exit was covered in a pool of acid. Thankfully, I walked into this room and there were three valves. If I could turn all three of the valves, the acid would drain and I could make my way to the escape door. I turned the first valve and I started on jumping. Of course, there were also landmines on the platform too. I made it to the second valve and I turned it. That's it, one more to go. The last valve is just over these last few jumps. I hopped over and to my surprise, it was so easy. I turned the last valve and all the acid drained out of the middle, allowing me to go back up the ladder and down the stairs. <laughs> I'll be honest, I got a little bit lost when I was down there, but eventually I found the ladder and I made my way down to this table with a weird cursor on it. I didn't even know why, but I clicked it and I heard these doors fly open behind me. Oh no, I had to go through the janitor's closet to get away from him, but it was locked shut. I had to find the key and fast before Larry could catch me. Thankfully, some of the cell doors had fallen over and allowed me to find cover behind them. I was looking everywhere for the key and when I left the second cell, I saw it. I ran for it, picked it up, and noticed something suspicious about the box in the corner. It was another pair of golden handcuffs. I went to grab them, but the only problem is now Larry is between me and the janitor's closet that I needed to get to. I decided this was my only chance and I just made a run for it. I jumped over the counter and for some reason, this completely confused Larry. But that was fine with me as I was able to make it straight to the janitor's closet unlock the door and go inside. I jumped right into this hole that was in the ground and I was suddenly in the sewers underneath the prison. I felt like I kept getting so close to escaping, but there was still so much more to do. I jumped onto these moving platforms and I punched in the vent on the other side of the room. But before I entered, I noticed another suspicious glow behind these boxes on the other side of the room. I had to go and investigate it. I knew it, another pair of golden handcuffs. Now I could go through the vent and ow, I had fallen on my face and I slid into a 1000 degree room. I even almost fell directly into lava. Instead of following the arrows, I decided to climb up this rock randomly and I accidentally just skipped over so many dangerous obstacles. I was obviously so happy. Look at all of this stuff that I just skipped. All I had to do now was jump over these moving rocks without falling into the pit of lava below. I also found another pair of golden handcuffs. We only need five more. On top of the rocks was this human-sized cannon. Was I supposed to climb inside and shoot myself out of the volcano? Was this finally my escape to the prison? I hopped inside and it shot me so far. But unfortunately, I noticed right away that I landed in the worst place imaginable. Not only was I still inside the prison, but the biggest bully ever was blocking my way, so I had to somehow get around him without him seeing me. I also saw this random dude in a dumpster. Thankfully, I made it past the bully and I instantly saw that this guy was throwing basketballs at me. Why would he even do this? I tried going up to him and asking him, but as soon as I saw how hairy his belly was, I knew I had to get as far away from him as possible. But before I left completely, I collected my sixth pair of golden handcuffs behind the bench. And then it looked like the only way I could go was through the cafeteria. There were lasers blocking my path, but I did notice a button that looked like it was connected to the lasers. I pressed the button and it worked. 
the lasers turned off and I was able to continue to the cafeteria. The inside of the cafeteria was super weird though. Not only did I have to balance on this weird beam, but there were open cans of what looked like tuna all over the tables. I ran as fast as I could, but I slipped off. I fell right in front of Larry, who was mocking me trying to escape. I cleaned myself off and I could hear the lunch lady whispering something to me. Psst, hey kid, clean up my tables and I'll let you escape through the kitchen. Okay, well that didn't sound too hard to me, but Larry was chasing me the entire time. I cleaned off every table for her and to my surprise, she actually unlocked the door to the kitchen and I was able to just barely make it out. Every time I thought I was about to escape, something always happened. I wasn't about to give up now though. I had already come so far. I immediately noticed these boxes that I had to stack up in order to get to the vent. I also noticed another pair of handcuffs which boosted my morale a ton. I stacked up the boxes, punched open the vent, and continued my escape. On the other side was what looked to be toys? What were these doing in the prison? And why did they look so familiar? I peeked through the bars at the end of the hallway and I could literally see my goal. I knew that island is where I needed to go if I was gonna have freedom forever. So with more confidence than ever, I ran past the swinging axes and up the stairs. I did find my eighth pair of golden cuffs, so that was good. And I also noticed I was standing right in front of the warden's office. There was a note signed by Darling. Could this be the same Darling from the evil dollhouse? Was I seeing things? I ran up the stairs and it was confirmed. There were lasers blocking my way, so I had to use the electrical lines outside to somehow get around them. These lines were full of electricity though, so one wrong step and I was a goner. Thankfully, I was just careful enough and I was able to get around the lasers, but there were more. I immediately put my thinking hat on and found this box that was just big enough for me to fit inside. But was this box laser proof? Well, there was only one way to find out and it worked. I could not believe it. I was able to enter the next room and that's when I saw her. Darling was right in front of me. She also had a pair of golden handcuffs right on her table. I thanked her for the golden handcuffs and jumped over her candy that was in the way of the vent on the other side of the room. To be honest, I was so tired of vents at this point, but this may have been the best one because Darling had actually left me a gift. It was a pair of scissors and there was a note attached that said, a gift for you. Let's play again someday, darling. I was so grateful because I knew exactly where to use these scissors. I could cut the ribbon and get inside of the warden's office from earlier. As soon as I entered, I started to hear boss music. You really thought you could escape me? Time to go back to your cell. I knew that I had to fight the warden and end him once and for all. He had these chains that kept spinning and tried to trip me over. Thankfully, it did not take me very long to take down most of his health with the bazooka that I found on the ground. There was also a mini Larry that was chasing me around. When Larry ran out of all of his health, he fell over, revealing a button that was labeled Release All Prisoners. I knew it was my duty to press this button and release everyone from this horrible prison. The sheer power of the button shot me out of the window and one by one, the prison cells began to open. I ended up landing on top of the volcano from earlier, but I did I did it! I was out of the prison! I had successfully escaped, but where was my island? I took the zip line that was attached to the volcano, hoping that it would take me there. I thought to myself, this better not take me back to the prison. <laughs> Thankfully it did not. I was free at last, and I was so close to my destination. I just needed to take the boat at the bottom of the island. But before I did, I saw one thing that we had been missing the entire time. The last and final pair of golden handcuffs. I had done it. I was finally ready to head to the island. This journey was tough, this journey was long, but I learned a valuable lesson that day. To never break the law and get me sent to prison. I was where I wanted to be forever. On my own island, with my own mansion, and I couldn't be happier.